good, nice hands. Drives and scores. Hey Cardinal Nation, I'm Tom. And I'm Jerry. Shout out to Room 184 and don't forget your free fist bumps every day. All players interested in trying out for boys basketball should attend one of our preseason meetings on Wednesday, October 26th. There's a meeting before school at 7.15 and one after school at 2.30, both room 004. Breakfast and Bibles will meet this Wednesday morning at 7 a.m. in Mr. Miller's room, room 002. Join us for a hot breakfast, fellowship with friends, and time in the Word. All students and staff are welcome to attend. Join our Instagram for updates. Winter cheerleading is coming soon, and we want you to be a part of our team. We bring the spirits of basketball, wrestling, and hockey games. Contact Coach Jackie Lacey for more information, or visit coonrabbitscheer.com to learn about the tryout material, and then you will go to Lower Gym after school on October 24th through the 27th. The tryouts will take place on Friday, October 28th at 5 p.m. The Little Club will be hosting their first annual Trunk and Treat in the Sierra Hill Student Park lot on Monday, October 31st, from 4 p.m. to 5.15 p.m. They're asking clubs, groups, teachers, or individuals to design a trunk or table to walk for the community to walk through. We are asking those who would come to the trunk to bring gift cards to donate. If you have any questions, please talk to Little Club Advisor Stephen Nelson. Welcome to the Cardinal College and Career Corner. College and military rep visits during lunches in the cafeteria this week will take place today. October 25th with Hibbing Community College and St. Kate's on Thursday. October 27th with Drake University, University of Minnesota Twin Cities, and the University of Northwestern St. Paul. Today's lunch will be mini corn dogs, and that's all we have for today. And remember, it's a great day to be a Cardinal. We promise that this show is going to give you a lift. We will slip as many highlights by you as possible as we tackle the best stuff. Peace out and touch the wall. Sports Night is next. Cardinals strike quickly, opening with a five-play, 48-yard drive that ends with a two-yard Jacob Maddox sneak. This opening quarter was really a blur of Cardinals scores. Logan Ness jumps the route on second and long. There's nothing in front of him but end zone. Just the start of an amazing night for both Ness and the defense. Cardinals offense with great field position all night, and they take advantage of it again. Maddock lofting it to the end zone. Lofton Ogroski laying out for a great catch. 19-yard score right in this corner at the pylon. Cards up 21-0. And they were back on the field just a couple plays later because Logan Ness was having a night. Great read on the route. Gets his second pick of the game. The return to the Eagles 30. Offense didn't have a play on their side of midfield in the first quarter. Very next play, Jared Fearing headed to the house. Just four carries for 50 yards for Fearing in the game, but that's a 30-yard score right there. And they weren't done in the first. After a three and out, gave him a short field again. Cardinals punch it in again. Kai John Cummings Coleman lowering his shoulder for the three-yard score. 35-0 Cardinals after the first. Eagles offense threatening for the first time. First and 10 from the Cardinals 19. But look out, it's the birthday boy, Eric Onda, getting the pick on his 18th birthday, and he knows exactly what to do with it. He gets some blocks downfield, and he is going all the way. 77-yard interception return touchdown, second score of the night for the defense. Apollo's sophomore quarterback, Davion Jackson, was in trouble all night long, just trying to get his team back into it. Throws this one on the run and on the receiving end for the third time in the game. Cardinals linebacker Logan Ness. The hat trick for Ness. Six interceptions for the Cardinals as a team. Not sure if either or both are records, but pretty impressive, no question. Jackson on third and 10. Pressure coming from Ness this time. The throw picked up by Cam Ross at the 36. He's got Ness scoring all the way for the score. Third interception return for a touchdown. 49-0 score at the half. After a Hunter Allen pick, Gave him a short field yet again. Cards add on Jackson Hetward and Jackson Smith for a three-yard score. Kingsley Freeman didn't see much action until the second half, but he took advantage of his opportunities. Seven carries for 97 yards in the game, including 60 right here. 
shows off his speed, gets the Cardinals back inside the 10. That leads to the final score of the game. Sophomore Jeremy Ott taking the snap out of the shotgun, running all the way, great blocking on the left side, dives for the score from the four. Cardinals cruising to the 62 to nothing win. Well, the volleyball team will open section play on Tuesday at Centennial. Last week, they took on Park Center in the conference crossover match. The Cardinals and the Pirates both struggling in the Northwest Suburban. They met early in the season with Coon Rapids getting the win in four sets. This would be a big match for both teams as they look for some positives before the postseason. Cardinals hoping for a repeat performance. Same setting, same two teams. No reason they couldn't do it again. Coon Rapids on the serve in the first. Park Center can't get organized for an attack and just push it across and the Cardinals make them pay. Set up for Chloe Hoffman on the left side. She gets it through to the block. And to the floor, Coon Rapids takes the first set 25-16. Cardinals jumping out early in the second. Vivian Peplo serves. Pirates play it back weekly, and Bella Nelson slams it right to the back corner. It's all smiles on the visitor's side. Still in the second, Cardinals attacking with Jersey Rob in the middle. Park Center able to, able to turn it up and set up on the left side, but Rob and Nelson are there for the block. Cardinals cruise to a 25-11 win. Pirates were able to score a 26-24 win in the third, but the Cardinals end it in the fourth. They go back to Rob in the middle. She angles it around the block and helps Coon Rapids get out front. They hold on down the stretch. Beautiful ace by Tatum Shevchuk helps them secure the fourth set win with a 25-19 victory. Well, the swimming and diving team has a couple of weeks off after winning their tri-meet for the Northwest Suburban Tournament. Colonels always hope to avoid swimming in the meet for the last three spots of the conference, but when they do end up in the tri-meet, it's always best to come out as the winner. And that's exactly what the Cardinals did when they went to Park Center on Tuesday. Cardinals jump to the lead in the opening event. Freshman Lillian Defoe and sophomore uh, and Sophia Pickett, both freshmen, get the 200 medley relay team off to a great start. Then seniors Michaela D'Souza and Laura McCarr will finish it strong. They get the win in two minutes, 8.18 seconds. The Cardinals also took third place, so 22 points in the opening event. Cardinals would maintain the lead throughout the depth of their squad is a big reason why. Michaela D'Souza setting the pace in the 53. She takes first in 27.50. Aubrey Hoverstein is just uh, a couple seconds behind her in second place. 14 point lead for the Cardinals after four events. They're never able to run away, but they keep themselves in front. Sophomore Gabriel, Gabriel Lewis had a, a great swim in the 500 freestyle. Gets another blue ribbon for the Cardinals. She wins in six, 14.73. Defoe leading off the 200 freestyle relay for the Cardinals, and the freshman gets them a lead, and they don't look back. Captain Laura McCarr swam the second leg, and fellow senior Michaela D'Souza handles the third. Hoverston would anchor the team to the win in one minute, 53.73 seconds. Cardinals score 140 points to secure the win. Osio had 117 Park Center at distance.